Hey everybody and welcome back to Dead Rising 2. When we left off, I got killed. Not by a zombie, but Doris killed me because she defected, because Chad got killed. Why? Because I'm lazy, I didn't uh, give him anything to heal himself with, and I was too concerned with getting a goddamn giant donkey to the safe room so I could give it to Katie for an extra bonus, as well as turning in these guys. But, no problems today. I did it, uh, I, I got myself back to where we were inside of the Royal Flush Plaza a lot faster than last time. Everybody is pretty much full health, although Chad did shoot Doris a couple of times. She got in his way and he put shotgun shells all in her face and she fell to the floor. He didn't seem to care. Um, but now, I was a little more focused. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I could have just scrapped that and done it over again, but you know what? I really liked talking about Chuck's prostate, and I didn't want you guys to miss out on that, so I had to upload it. Anal pleasure is always something that I want to share with you guys. Yes, yes. So now, after uh, escorting these guys here and giving Katie uh, this stuffed animal, I am going to go ahead and go to case 1-2 and go talk to Rebecca Chang before I get myself sidetracked so much that I uh, fail the game, <laughs> which is not a very good idea. <laughs> I hope that you can hold on to this somehow, Katie. I, I, yeah, I really don't see <laughs> how you're going to do that. She's not gonna be able to play with that very well. Well, now we're level six, so that's nice. I'm actually going to save now that I have done something, gotten, uh, gotten somewhere in this game. Oh boy. It's nice to have another uh, save level rather than being back at, uh, before escorting those two here. I had been there a while and it's it's about time we made some progress. So now we're going to go all the way out back to um, Fortune City Hotel I think is what it's called. So I've got to go back outside past where I picked up Chad and then Rebecca Chank should be like right in the entrance or something and I'm probably going to get myself a weapon or two. I've got a new message. What exactly could it be? Yes, just all kinds of things. Pawn shop. That's on the way there. I don't really need to get anything from it right now. Uh, he does sell Zombrex there, which I will have to get at some point. But I do not have the amount of money necessary. I believe it's $25,000 and I am 10k short. I don't know how Chuck is going to pull off getting that much money. He's going to have to do another Terror is Reality thing and win again, right? That's how much I got the first time. All right, Chuck, time to get back on the old motorcycle and risk your life. You know, you <laughs> just had a, a great father moment with Katie in there, giving her a, a giant donkey because that's definitely what kids want. Have, what kid has ever wanted a giant donkey as a toy? I'm a terrible father. That was the worst gift I could have ever given her. I really should be f feel terrible about myself, but uh, yeah, for those who don't know, the uh, the pawn shops is a place where you can get things like Zombrex. They'll also sell combo weapons and shit like that. I can actually pick uh, pick up some random shit like a stuffed animal from there if I uh, so desire to give Katie another stuffed animal because she totally needs like five of them. What the hell is she gonna do? That's gonna be the biggest fucking tea party ever. But we're gonna just run past all of this shit and not worry about it for now because I have been wasting some time and I really need to get over there and uh, get case one two going. Oh boy. I love loading screens. Don't you love loading screens? That's the best thing about this game. It just gives you some time to reflect <laughs> on how uh, this game came out in 2010 and yet has fucking loading screens. What is this, Vice City? There's like a loading screen every five feet in this game. I never really understood that. Either way, we're getting there. We should be, uh, should be like up these stairs and then around the corner to the right. I believe. And we're just gonna casually pass all this. I don't have, don't have any time for you. Rebecca has been patiently waiting for me for a long fucking time and I have ignored her. You know what, and rightfully so, she fucking <laughs> played that story blaming me 
for this goddamn outbreak. I honestly should just waste some more. I should just sit out here and kill a bunch of zombies and make her wait even longer. Good God. There's a lot of zombies outside of this door. What do they want in here? The reservations are just piling up at this hotel. Good Lord. All of these zombies just want a room with a balcony. They all enjoy a nice view. Well, the sledgehammer's gone. Let's just go inside now. <laughs> Stop wasting time making terrible jokes. Oh, and just sit at another loading screen. How much fun are you having? Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> the best camera angle ever. Really, where did he come from? You need to pay attention out here. You could have shot me in the face. I think you shot it from directly behind. Thanks. Rebecca Chang. Channel 6 Action News. Shot green. Are you serious? He's reach for the gun and I'm take it away from her. Video. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Since you're sticking around, care to answer a few questions? I'm not your story, lady. I didn't have anything to do with the outbreak. Right. Sure you didn't. And that tape showing you tampering with the cages was... A fake. I had nothing to do with this. My daughter and I barely got out of there alive. I need to know where you got that tape from and who your source is. Reporters don't reveal their sources, Chuck. That's privileged information. Oh wow, it sounds privileged so great, ass. Rebecca. That wasn't me. So on secretive. I'm being set up. Just beat it out of her, hmm. please. There's Why nobody around, Chuck. You? you don't have to. But you want the big story. She right? has soiled your good name. Help me out and I'll give you an interview. With the prime suspect. It has to be an exclusive. Sure. Doesn't matter to me. I can't tell you my source, but there is a central security room. There'll be footage of everything that happened there. I can show you where it is. So basically, you're giving me the well, source. That's a start, at least. Rebecca, you're not playing your cards to... right. Hmm. They ran off with all the equipment. I guess they just didn't want it bad enough. Why are you still wearing your press badge, Rebecca? I don't think anybody is going to be stopping you from going where you want to go. <laughs> oh, oh, well, actually, you know what? I'm glad that I accidentally clicked and hit her. She deserved it. Still, she's holding that gun. She does not need to be holding a gun. Uh, can I give her something soft? to use, I I guess not. Well, let's just uh, pick up this wheelchair and get going. <laughs> this is totally gonna help me out. Can I set this down? I don't remember how to do that. If if you can set down the chair so you can push it. Ah, I'm forgetting everything about this game. Well, now we're just gonna follow around a woman who's trying to ruin my life. There's a bathroom if I <laughs> arrest. Why is that in quotation marks, Rebecca? What? Why are you saying it in quotation marks? I understand that the game uses it as a save point, but what could you possibly mean by that? Yes, I'm going to go into the stall and masturbate, Rebecca. That's probably what you're trying to hint at. Yes, yes, we're going to follow her to the arena security room. Yes, I'm feeling better. <laughs> wow. You know what? I make a joke about that, but that's probably what they're trying to get at. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to be a part of the village people. Oh, I can't put that on? Oh, I guess, never mind. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's something that you can use to make a combo weapon. It's not a, uh, it's not an apparel item, which sucks. I mean, that construction hat would go really well with this outfit. To be honest, it would be just fabulous. Okay, well, 
I needed a, an extra weapon. Why not? I had a, another slot. Let's just run around all of these zombies. No point in wasting time with them. Rebecca sure isn't. Even with the gun, she's just running through them. I actually can't keep up with her that well. Alright. How much running do we have to do, Rebecca? Let's just hurry up and get this. So why are you transporting that? What is that anyways? Hold on. Hold on, Rebecca. It is a... God damn it. It, it won't tell me what it is. I, ca I have to get in a specific spot to see what this tank is. Now it's saying Dolly, but it did tell me... You know what? Forget it. I don't have time for this shit anymore. Hold on. There's another one here. Acet I have no idea what that is. I'm just going to leave it alone. It's probably explosive. <laughs> More than likely. Oh boy. Oh wow, look at this. Did... Does this have something to do with the hotel? Did somebody, uh... Take down a... Tiger? For this property? I'm very confused as to why that's a statue in this place. Rebecca, can you... You've got a gun. You can handle yourself, okay? Me don't get hurt. You're the one who was just latched onto by a zombie. Don't tell me what to fucking do. Ugh. Man, you're starting to piss me off. Let's just go. Okay. We should be getting out of here soon, right? Yes, going out the door. About time. Do you have access to this thing? Damn it. <laughs> Better get just, used to that view, just lift it up, Chuck. Chuck. Really, Rebecca? Cute. I hope I don't have to do everything for you. Wow, Chuck, wow. how sad is that? Just checking out the view. <sighs> I really don't think she's into you. I mean, she still thinks that you let out a bunch of zombies. And got a lot of people killed. I don't think she's very attractive. I mean, unless she's into that type of thing. Rebecca, I really don't know. You seem like the type who likes a bad boy. Well, you don't get any badder than someone who just blows up a door and lets out hundreds, thousands of zombies. Loose on an entire population in Fortune City. I mean, really. I might as well commit genocide. Does that turn you on, Rebecca? Alright, here we go. This should be the... Yes, the security room, finally. See if it's unlocked. Why couldn't you see it? You got here first! You can open a goddamn door, can't you? Here. Let me try. Don't bother. It's locked. So you ask me to see if it's open, skills. just so you can know that it's locked, and then show off like this. By the rules, <sighs> you just make me more and more frustrated as the minutes go by. Looks like somebody didn't like the show much. Really, Rebecca? I couldn't tell, you know. Damn it! God, my tits There's look great in that, that top. Can use. Everything's been destroyed. Chuck, check this out. No zombie did that. I have seen zombies carrying guns. I think I have. I'm pretty sure that they could accidentally do it. You believe me now? Let's just say I'm intrigued. Chuck, you need to get back to the bunker now. What is it? What's wrong? It's Sullivan. He saw you on the TV. You better get back here. He's threatening to kick Katie out. I'm on my way. Wait, who is that? Stacy. Forsyth. The leader of Cure? I guess. I'll meet you there. Oh, this just gets better and better. Sullivan would just kick out like a six-year-old girl into Royal Flush Plaza around a bunch of zombies. I mean, this is the moment where you just kill Sullivan, right? That would make sense. 
Oh boy. Just ridiculous. Okay, I need to figure out where I am. Let me look at the map just right quick so I can refresh. Yes, I'm going outside of the arena. Okay, so to my left. Well, it is all. <laughs> it does have it on uh, my little direction thing, the arrow that tells me where I need to go. So, I mean, really, I didn't need to look at the map. But god damn- Oh! I did not even realize that my fucking health was that low. I had not looked at it one time this entire sequence. Are you kidding me? I had not looked at it at all. I'm gonna get myself back to here. Luckily, it was only a few minutes ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is what happens. This is what happens. I completely lose focus on everything that's a fucking important in this game. Like, living. Okay, I've gotten myself back. Now this time, I'm gonna get some snacks. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my health all the way up. <laughs> oh, I'm just very silly sometimes, you know. It's in my nature, but now we will have full health. We will be okay. We can make it back to the safe house. No problem now. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Even though the evidence suggests the contrary. Just trust me on this. I know exactly how to play this game. Alright, so we have made it back to the safe area. We're gonna go through the vents and uh, go give Sullivan a piece of my mind with this bat covered in nails. I hope he will be intimidated. Oh, I thought it would just, uh... Yeah, it doesn't automatically trigger. I actually have to walk over here to the room. Yes. Alright, what's going on? I should have known you two were in cahoots the first moment you cahoots. stepped foot in this place. You caused nothing but trouble. You're an innocent. It's a setup. After you put this whole bunker at risk, you expect me to believe that? Hey! Oh, well, looky here, man of the hour, Chuck Green. Should have listened to my gut and kicked you out when you got here. Sullivan, I had nothing to do with this. I saw it on the TV. Saw you, buddy. Explain how that little trick works. Wasn't me on the tape. It was someone in my show outfit. But look, I don't care whether you believe me or not. I've got three days till the military gets here to prove that I'm innocent. I'll hand myself over if we haven't gotten any proof by then. I'm just asking for a fair shot. Ahem. You could have told me that the front door was locked. How did hey, you make it here? You're that TV lady. I'll make you a deal. You keep rounding folks up, you can keep coming and going. You die out there, and we'll have to leave it to the devil to sort you out. <laughs> but ain't no one gonna cover your ass when the military arrives. You pull anything. Anything, and I'll do whatever I have to do. I really took you seriously there, Sullivan, with the giant donkey in the background. Trust me. The the weight of those What's words that? was so fucking heavy. He watches too much TV. Tell me you found something. We went to Central Security, but somebody got there before us. Everything was smashed. All the tapes were gone. Hey, no footage of my daughter. Why would anybody want to watch her anyway? She's just been playing her little PSP this entire fucking time. Help. Oh, you'll forgive me if I don't think it's very helpful that you accused my organization of a crime we didn't commit. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but clearly things are not as they seem. I put out the information I had at the time. Remember, sounds you like CNN. All the exclusives you Rebecca. want if you help us figure out what's going on here. Works for me, whether you're innocent. Topical or humor. I just want the truth. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But okay. We'll work together. I'll keep an eye on these monitors. And I'm going back out there to see what I can find out. I'll let you know if I see anything. I think the, uh, the security footage of Chuck was uh, put on Reddit and then somebody identified me as the bomber, so everybody's just going after me now. I mean, that's how it works, right? Oh boy, well, now I can save. 
we got some shit done before the time ran out, luckily. And now I'm level six, so we got got some good progress going. Katie, you really don't care about you. Ne she, does she ever ask where I am or how I'm doing? No, she just sits there on this couch all fucking day long, plays her games or listens to whatever music she has. Nope, doesn't give a shit. Well, thanks, Katie. Doing all of this for you. <laughs> all right, well, that's going to be the end of this episode. This is the greatest character in the game, the giant stuffed donkey. Every time he's in a cutscene, oh, man, it really gets my heart going. But, <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later.